Hey, welcome to From Scratch Ranch. In the last video, you saw us raise those beams, those high beams way up there. We got one there and one over here. If you didn't see that video, check it out. Here's a link above. Today, what we're doing is I've got a couple things. I've got to get these two by fours, these 16 footers up on the uh, inside and outside of that beam. So I've got somewhere to screw my drywall into and the metal, the metal ceiling I'm gonna put in. This corrugated metal ceiling is gonna go up here in between those two beams. And before I do that, I need to insulate. So I've got the R38 faced insulation I'm gonna put up in between those rafters up there. They're 24 on center and these are 24 inches wide. So we're gonna put those up in there, staple that up and then get this metal all screwed up to the ceiling. It's gonna look nice. All right, let's get started. on me. Well, it's off. One more run. Let's see. One, two, three, four rows done. Three more to go.
All right, it's time to insulate the master loft ceiling. I've got all this R38 faced attic insulation. Uh, just gonna put it up in here, just like I did over the main living area here. Yep. This should be a lot easier than down over here because I don't have to go up and down that tall ladder or the, uh, the scaffolding. So it's just right here, I can reach it. Hopefully this will go a lot quicker. Got to be careful on this edge because it's a long way down. I'm not a railing in yet. All right, it's time to start installing the corrugated metal ceiling. I've already done the first row of it up there, but that was up against the wall using the scaffolding. Now I gotta come into the middle, and it's a little scary. Um, scaffolding's a little wobbly, there's nothing on either side, you're working over your head, uh, yeah. So I went and bought a fall protection kit right down here, which is just basically a harness, full body harness, and then the rope, to attach to something and then some uh, anchor plates uh, these are more for like roofing jobs I mean this kits probably you know it's probably is primarily made for for roofing jobs um, but I'm gonna use it here now for sure I'm gonna use the body harness and then I'm gonna probably put some webbing up around the rafters up there in the middle and then attach the harness to that with the rope just in case. All right, let's see what we can do. Yeah, this is a bit scary up here. Oh, that's nerve wracking. All right, now we got that wrapped around there twice. I'm gonna tie a water knot on this. All right, so there's the water knot. And now this should hold me. Double this up, like so. And then I'll clip into this. All right, got it on. I feel secure in this. So we'll see, I'm gonna just take this and I'm gonna clip in up there. So it's amazing that just having all of this on here and knowing that I am protected with this harness that my nerves are less and I feel more comfortable up here. So I can reach and do stuff without um, having the nerves affect me and lose my balance. to the center, and 15, 39, so that's, that's the center, right there. Yeah. All right, well I got, there we go, this little pot is exactly what I need. So I'll use this as my template. Looking down in that hole, that's perfect. Gives me a little space to look at my mark, make sure I'm the center. There we go, cut my circle. Okay, so I picked up this little nifty metal cutting tool. I don't know, it was just one of those stupid ads on Facebook and I just, it was cheap and I grabbed it. So we'll see if it works or not. Um, so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole through the center or on the edge and I'm gonna take this and then see if it will cut.
Huh. Probably not the best tool ever, but it, I don't think it costs that much money. But it did the job. It wasn't as fast as I would like with probably a more professional snipping tool, but at least I didn't have to use my tin snips to do it by hand. Okay, let's go see if this fits. Make sure I got my measurements right. Otherwise, I'll have to buy another sheet. All right, here we go. So this is what releases it. And then once I let go, it locks. So as I come up higher, I just keep raising this. That way, it'll lock on the rope there the higher I go, so there's no slack. So if I fall, I'm gonna fall and I'll be hanging in the middle there, but at least I won't hit the ground. working pretty well I like it all right now let's just make sure everything is straight all right good deal I think this is gonna work I'm afraid of when I miss like that and I lose my balance. Oh, Whew, that was pretty scary.
I don't know if that was worth it. That was a lot of work. Woo. I think 10 snips would have been good. This is not the tool. This is not the tool for doing long sheets. No, this is for small little holes you might have to do, but it's not for long sheets. And lots of them. Check out that ceiling. Ain't that cool? It's corrugated metal ceiling. Wow, man. That was a big job, but it was worth it. It was worth it. It looks great. Those two big beams up there, we're gonna have drywall ceilings on the lofts. So those beams separating this living space here, this high, 16 foot high living space. And I've got a corrugated metal ceiling now in here, and it looks great. And I'll tell you, even though as hard as this was to put up, and scary because it's super high up and I had to harness myself in, uh, it was definitely a lot easier than lifting that drywall way up there, especially there's no way I could have done it by myself. So this I was able to do by myself. And uh, not only was it easier than drywall, I think it just looks way better. So, if you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the projects we're working on here at From Scratch Ranch. So until next time, keep living the dream. Oh, back, my neck. Mm. Boy, can't wait till the ceiling work's done.